Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a video on Team Finland in the men's Olympics having a great Cinderella run of their own to get their first gold medal as of course the pure Cinderella team in the tournament was Team Slovakia, who Finland also was able to beat in a very good a route of them who and against a very tough Slovakia team in the preliminary. So obviously that just goes to show how good the Finns were. Uh, they were a team that <clears throat> I think coming in, people probably expected them to medal, which that's why Slovakia was the biggest Cinderella one. They weren't ranked to even be able to be necessarily medalists where they were able to get the bronze. But when it comes to Finland, I don't think many had, even without the NHL was going in them as the favorite to get gold. And guess what they do? They come out, with gold beating a team that nobody had them as the favorite to beat either in the gold medal game, upsetting ROC. It was considered an upset because you have Ivan Fedotov, one of the guys that might be one of the best net miners. I'll talk about that in the video I do on ROC that's going to come out either tomorrow or a bit later tonight. But one of the best goaltenders in the KHL that might be coming over to North America soon. But also, Finland has one of the better veterans in the KHL. In Harry Sattery, who was a former uh, pick of the San Jose Sharks for many years ago and has now had success in the KHL. Both battled it out. Sattery comes out on top. Uh, and Finland was able to get two very good goals. The one was deflected uh, in the third period, where I'm not even going to try to say uh, Hans' uh, last name there. I guess it's Borg Ninen. Uh, but uh, he was able to have a nice deflection there. And then. Um, Mikhail Grigorenko was, of course, able to score on the power play for ROC, which was a struggle bunny thing for them in the entire tournament. So when that happened, you started thinking, oh, maybe this is a game that's really going to go in their favor. No. Finland started digging up really good, uh, played really well. Um, they got by far the more shots on goal. They got the more chances. They had six minutes on the power play. Unfortunately, they were not the team to be able to divert on the power play. But that didn't come to haunt them because... And that's something I thought even while watching the game. Oh, no, maybe this will come to haunt them in Finland's perspective. But Poco was able to score in a nice turnaround shot from the point. Or no, that wasn't a turnaround shot. Or a nice shot from the point uh, where it looked like Fedotov was just not able to pick it up. And then the turnaround shot was the one that uh, Borz Ninen uh, was able to score and that he ended up deflecting. So, I mean, Finland, they had a great team. Uh Formed. You have uh, Lednin, you have Gronland, who, uh, of course, used to play over in the States, similar to what I said about Slovakia, but even more so for Finland, you have a lot of guys that have former AHL, NHL ties, top ties to top leagues like the KHL, Sweden, uh, Czech League, etc., etc., Finnish League, etc. So, obviously, when you bring in all that talent, that's going to help you. Leo Kamarov, who was nicknamed Uncle Leo over in the NHL, you got him. Poka obviously played well. Uh, Ant Antila, uh, who was uh, one of the assisting captains. And then um, you also have Otama, uh, so Adi Otama, who was one of the assistant captains as a leader. And then, of course, the captain, uh, oh, also Sammy Vatter, who's a very good uh, offensive defenseman that can push up the play. And Pears Lindholm, who has also had success, or, or, or Pateri Lindholm, excuse me, not Pears Lindholm, who's also had success over here as well. But Filpula was the big leader of the team. He played well. The team played well. Gronlin played well. Lednin played well as one of the big anchors on defense as well. So I think this team was just assembled very, very well. And they played very, very well together and just had that unprecedented run and go all the way to the end. Just like Team Slovakia had the unprecedented run to get the bronze, Team Finland had the unprecedented run to get the gold. That um, the last game before was beating Team Switzerland, who... Uh, really impressed in their own right, honestly, in the tournament. That was their game prior to being able to claim the gold against ROC that they were just able to get in a battle in a 2-1 to one victory. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video going over Team Finland having a great run thanks to the great goaltending they had in the entire tournament um, and also thanks to the great play that they had from their veterans like the Gronlins, the Lettinens, the Limbaum, the um, the Limbombs, excuse me, the Vatanins, the Filpulos, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They've got great play throughout. It carried them to the finish line, and it carried them past the team that they upset in ROC. So everybody have a great day and pleasant day. Hope you enjoy whatever league you enjoy every day out there in the great hockey world and the great sport of hockey. Enjoy the hockey, everybody. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing to 200 or more by the end of February. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.